Hey guys, it's Hey Guys, it's Sega Man here, uh, SC578 channel account, and uh, today I'm going to show you a video of Windows 95 running on the PSP. I have a homebrew PSP, that's why I'm doing it through DOSBox, uh, which is like a DOS emulator basically. And I can, uh, and also one thing about the uh, homebrew is if you take the power out, you can put it to setting for one, two, three, four. And usually with the brightness thing, you can only go up to three without battery, but here I can just go right to four, which is nice. Anyway, sorry for not uploading videos lately, but the new router, the N600, is having problems, and even a geek like me just can't figure it out today. And doesn't have time, I need to do homework, so I might as well just call and figure it out right away. Hopefully, if their service is good. They said Netgear service is pretty good, so I'm not too worried at the moment. But yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So I have to use my dad's laptop, and I can't edit anything on there. So, uh, yeah, I'm stuck with doing everything in one recording. So I'm going to show you Windows Night 5 on PSP today. Got 3 into 3. Uh,. Now, before I got things like, you know, Genesis Emulators, Vice City, because the disc is a little screwed up here. Tennis 4 Emulator, Super Nintendo Emulator, Google Music. And these two things I gotta back up. The card for Gran Turismo and Echo Chrome I got on cards when I bought them brand new. Yeah, that's how many it went through. Um, but, because Sony got hacked, I didn't get my account back. I tried, but it didn't work out too well. So. These I gotta back up, or else I'll never get this again, and I'll have to pay for that again, unless I use some pirating stuff, but whatever. Anyways, DOSBox, so, and before I start, I will say Windows 95, bare minimum requirements, is a 386DX processor, basically a 386 32-bit, 4 megs of RAM, and I think like 10 or 20 megabyte hard drive or something like that or megabytes of free space on the hard drive, something like that. And recommended is like 50 to 55 megs, a 486 processor, any 486 processor, and uh, 8 megs of RAM. So we're going to go in and show you that works. And crashes a lot, too. It crashes a lot, too. I don't know that if it's because uh, they say that you should have at least 500 megs of space free on your memory card for, the P for Windows 95. For the PSP, I have 331 megs of RAM. I, or excuse me, space. Um, I don't know if that's why it's crashing or just the fact that it just shouldn't be running on here, regardless. Uh, but you know it works, so that's what matters. So what I'm going to do is left, up, right, square, triangle, and circle, D-pad and funk and uh, action buttons. Bring up keyboard commands like so. Okay, down and X, cancel it out if you already have it up and it's the wrong key. Down defaults to uh, uh, the backspace key, excuse me. X de defaults to the space key, space bar. Start defaults to the enter key and select defaults to the backslash key. Control stick acts as moving the mouse around. The shoulder L button acts as the left mouse click button like on here. And the right shoulder button acts as the right click button on the mouse, like on here. So, what we're going to do, so I'm going to close that now. Okay, what we can do here is basically, oh yeah, DOSBox is normally for PC, by the way. There it is there. DOSBox. That's the router settings. I can't get that shit working. I try, I change every goddamn setting that I know about, and it still doesn't work. Help me out here, people. Help me out. Anyways point is, if you want to change the keyboard commands, because it's limited, right, you'd be clicking left X real quick, and it'll actually switch it, so now I got things like function 1, 2, and 8, for example. Press down to cancel, I'll go to square, and now I got option 1. I want to go to go to boot menu, so that's option 1, so press square. Now we got boot to Windows 3.1, 95, 98, or XP. Now, I don't know if, how well XP would run considering the fact that 95 is slow to begin with. Uh, the only ISO I have on here is Windows 95, so I'm going to boot that one. So go to square, go to triangle for number 2. 
and it takes about 2 minutes and 20 seconds to boot Windows 95 and after I click X here after I click X here it takes like 18 seconds to boot this are you ready for this? press any key to begin booting Windows 95 now I have rec I have done this video this is the third time uh, uh, of me recording this video for YouTube by the way because the first time I accidentally selected Windows 3.1 and it said I had to quit or else it'll crash because I didn't have the ISO. And the second time I was, uh, it crashed trying to open a control panel so I could show you the system properties. So there it is. It's loading from the card. You'll see the light come up. You can see the blue bar moving. And the light will come up when it's loading. That's what it looks like. Or PSP. It's pretty nifty, really. It's interesting. Um, I don't know if I can put any games on here. What? I don't know if it saves to the memory card. Whoops. If it saves, <laughs> still dims the PSP. There, see the lights going. I don't know if it saves to the memory card or if it's just like temporary RAM or whatever. So I'm not really sure. And you'll see this plaque screen for probably possibly another half a minute before you see anything. That is, it takes a long time. It's in, if you put the 18 seconds to 2 minutes 20 seconds, it's total 2 minutes 38 seconds just for this goddamn thing to boot. It's a real pain in the ass. So yeah, what you gonna do? Loading. Like a crazy nut. See, the only reason I knew it was still working because I saw the loading light, the orange light. Okay, there we go. So now we got this. So you can use your control stick. You can move that once it turns into an arrow. Oh. Okay, see? Ta-da. It's really laggy, though. And you're going to wait even longer now. Oh, what the hell? It still dims if I'm, even if I'm using control stick. That's bullshit. Anyways, waiting for it to respawn. Like I said, it takes a while. If you want to forward, if you want to forward this video, you can do that now, just to save some seconds of your life, possibly a minute of your life. I know it's important. I know it is. I know it's important to you. you figures, okay, of YouTube. Here we go. All right, so we it's booted now. There's no sound, by the way. I've noticed that. So last time, okay. I think I'm just gonna open my computer first. I'll just show you what's in there. So double click the L, and if you wait, it'll actually load, eventually. Okay. Holy fuck. It is so slow, though. Alright. It's kind of funky with the mouse if you're trying to get something specific. So there's C drive. Removable disk A. I'm assuming that's being detected, uh... Because that's, I'm assuming the removal disk A is being detected as the UMD drive or something. I, I'm not really sure. It acts, it's, uh, it says there's no media inserted though. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what that's for. C, not accessible, device not ready. Anyway, so we're going to go to C drive and see how much space is on that. Right click. I said right click. What the hell? Okay. What the f Oh my god, I think it crashed already. You see, it works, but it crashes a lot. So yeah, there's Windows 95 in a real crashy mood. Look, I can't do anything. This is terrible. Oh my god, I'm going to have to free up space and figure out if I can make this better. And see if I can do anything else with it and possibly have to remove reviews about it. This is kind of cool though, man. I should do this more often. Anyways, uh, I'm a PSP, so... Yeah, there's a crashed Windows 95, so I got no choice but to leave back to the PSP menu. Which is bullshit. But, whatever. And you can run DOS normally, by the way. All you have to do is go in the DOS box. This is the last thing I show you, then the video's end, alright? Uh, go in the DOS box. Like so. Press any key to continue. EBS and okay 
And all you do is click select button, which acts as a backslash, and it goes back to here. And say you wanted to see what was on here, you'd have to type in DIR, which stands for directory. Uh, your normal DOS functions. I'm looking for it right now, I forget where the hell it is. Okay, it was square? Okay. Triangle? God damn it. Yeah, see what is this kind of a problem? Okay, there's D, right there. And you press right to get D. Now I need an I. Ah, oh, shit. Now I need an I. Careful with that backspace. Square. Triangle. Oh, here we go. No, that's a J. In fact, it's on the screen. There's an I. And now R. And now you press start for enter. And it'll give you your directories. So, yeah. And there you have it. Anyways, back to PSP. So that's uh, that's that's Windows 95 and DOSBox running on your PlayStation Portable. This is Segman. Over and out. See you next time. See you next time. And we may, we may do some crazy commentaries or stuff. So yeah. Look how dirty my desktop is, by the way. I'm a terrible person. My computer wants to probably destroy me. Especially when it's a mess. The power supply is not the proper power supply. It's too goddamn hot. It's got too much crap running. It's got... Okay, you know what? I better shut up. Enjoy yourselves. Look at that mess down there. Look at that. Come on.